<laughs> Centrum versus Lifetime. A lot of people, I pick Centrum because uh, it's the most popular vitamin out there. It's owned by a mega pharmaceutical company. Um, that kind of starts with the red flag. It's owned by a pharmaceutical company. You only company. have to take one. Yeah. <laughs> In your life. Yeah, right. And it works forever. Yeah. Uh, they use synthetic vitamins and a specific kind of synthetic vitamin that's been found to cause detrimental health problems like prostate and lung cancer, this particular beta carotene that's used um, synthetically. Um, it uses an oxide form of magnesium, which only 4% is absorbed. And another thing that we know is that magnesium is best absorbed dermally. So if you really, really want to give yourself a good drench of magnesium. Can we like tell corporate so to make it transdermal? I think you should write that letter. It's like, that would be awesome. Yeah. Our company is always wanting to advance and do great things. So if you have a request, they'd probably love to hear it. Yeah. Just beat the head button. Now. <laughs> so it goes straight to corporate. <laughs> as soon as you put it in. <laughs> you might want to rethink that one. I trust it. So here we're going. Also, this has hydrogenated palm oil. Ooh, that's not good. Does everyone know what hydrogenated oils are? Yes. If you don't, don't feel shy. So hydrogenated oil is something that solidifies at room temperature. It also causes clogging of the arteries. So this has hydrogenated palm oil. And brain shrinkage. A lot of food coloring and dyes that have been linked in toxicology reports to ADD, allergies, and asthma. You don't wonder why people still take that stuff. So when people actually say, you know, they'll come in with their vitamins and go, well, so what do you think about this? Do you, do you think it's okay? Should I finish the bottle before you start your own? And I'm like, no, I'll write you a letter on letterhead if you need to say you're allergic to this so you can go get your money back. But I want you to take that because that's the truth. I'm not going to lie to them, you know? And, and most of the time they're buying at Costco, and Costco will take anything back, even if it's empty. It's true. Yeah, even yeah. if it's empty. Well, yeah, they're good. I think the date was saying, just finish that off and start ours when you're done. It's our own sure. Right. Yeah. I like what he just said. Say it again. The days of you saying, well, once you're finished with that one, you, then you can start with us. I don't know if you'd waste your money. That You should not ever say those words. Because you're basically saying, go ahead and just treat your body like crap. And you're done with it. You're feeling like garbage. Then I'll help you. Just say that. Let's get, let's be done with this. Let's get the good stuff now because you're now in the right place with the right stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, so, someone came in with a big bundle of vitamins and supplements and protein powders. And I'm like, well, look, if you don't want to take it back, you know, there's a lot of homeless people in Denver who probably really enjoy this because they're really they're they're not Something eating well. They could probably use know, better than nothing, right? Yeah. So this if you want to feel good about yourself, yeah. Yeah. Just make a bunch of shakes, hand them out at the sound. Yeah. So a lot of stuff I've talked about: the synthetic, the chelated, uh, the binders, the fillers. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hey. Seizure. Kelly. <laughs> I was going to say something to piggyback off of that is that um, if they're really, you know, wanting to keep doing their crappy vitamin, they can also do the absorption test yep. where you can stick it in water and see how long it takes to actually break up. And a lot of those crappy vitamins don't ever really fully break up. I mean, they can water, visualize it and see it for themselves. You know what? We should do a one. table like that. We've done that. Yeah. We've done that. That's That's really yeah, they love yeah. visuals. I am on that. Let's get That's like some Centrum and our vitamins. We'll do that absorption test right there and then. Mm -hmm. High five. Yeah, it works. Yeah. You know, they can really visualize yeah. that and see it. Like, this is what's going on in your body. Which one would you rather have? I have such brilliant nutrition coaches <laughs> on the team. It's like that big exactly. magnet I love it. for five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Did you just send out some articles if you have them on like all the crap and blue black? Boom! Us? I love orange and blue black. Anyway, <laughs> homeostasis isn't rock, rocket science. It's simple. Everybody is sick, and I'm like, y'all need to eat more fruits and vegetables. <laughs> it is so <laughs> true. Okay? Do you remember why we want to eat fruits and vegetables? Because they're green. Alkalization. Right. Alkalize your body and why do you want it? Why do you want your body evenly alkaline? Disease can't live in alkaline. Disease cannot live in alkaline. Do you know 
when they want to see if you have cancer, they do what's called PET scan. PET scan, they shoot glucose into the body. They look through a little lens there, and all the cancer cells, like little Pac-Man, go running to the glucose. Right? Glucose is acid. Acid feeds cancer cells, too. Okay? You, my husband, who works in oncology, has told me so many miraculous stories of people who have juice fasted, went vegan, plant-based, went organic, this and that, and put their cancers into remission now. That's not everybody we know, but there are really good stories and arguments for that. One thing I always tell people to keep it really simple is that, like piggybacking off of that, is, and I've watched this happen time and time again, you, you have uh, trillions of cells in your body and you turn over millions, billions of cells, trillions, whatever, every day you're turning over millions of those cells. So if you change a person's food to whole food, plant-based, lean proteins, and whatever limitations they have, you can actually watch. And you'll probably see people in your family maybe that got cancer and started eating healthier or started working with a dietitian, and you just see their skin and everything starts to change. So it all goes back to the <coughs> acidic versus the alkaline base. And you know they do cure a lot of people and take them off the of meds even, but it's not always the case, but that's the first place to start. Again, sure. back to what, what you're saying, let food be thy medicine, right? Yeah. Eating towards <clears throat> wellness or towards disease. So why use a nutrition coach? So I wanted to talk about this a little bit because there's something very organic that happens inside our sessions. First of all, our team of nutrition coaches provide an intimate and safe setting to discuss overall wellness. Uh, some of you are working with your clients, some of you have received session notes, and some of you have not. And the ones that have not is not a personal thing. I have met with people who have said, I don't want you to share this with my trainer. Okay, my trainer is my trainer. When I come in there, I wanna present a certain way and I don't wanna feel that vulnerability that I feel I can feel in here. Great, a lot of it is I'm seeing their hormone panels. You know, I'm, they're sharing disease with me um, and my team. There's something personal that goes on there. And that's why I, I joke, you know, that we have a tissue box on a desk, but I have to be honest with you that people do break down. Food is emotional and people have issues uh, around food and people have health issues that they don't want you guys to know about sometimes because they want to <coughs> posture themselves differently. Uh, we carve out focused time. When someone's there, we don't talk about anything other than their health and wellness and their nutrition. We're not discussing anything else. We're skilled and certified at behavior modification. Uh, we're skilled and certified in addiction. Lifetime, when you go through lifetimes learning well, you're gonna be learning about tobacco sensation. If you go through other advanced certifications, you'll be learning about food addiction, anorexia, things like that. We don't diagnose, they come to us like this. 80% of your clients' success relies on optimal nutrition and recovery. I know a lot, some people like to say 70%, but I'm gonna stick with 80. In fact, I'm almost closer to 90, but um, would we agree with that though? No. Yeah. They come in here and they spend maybe two hours and the rest of the day they're, they're in the world, they're eating, they're drinking, right? Uh, a nutrition session allows a member to be authentic and revealing. And your clients cannot absorb a nutrition consult while in a workout. So even my nutrition coaches who are solid, wonderful personal trainers, they never take that time to discuss the nutrition aspect of it. They'll be like, hey, how's it going? What'd you eat today? Did you do your optimizing 45? But they're not gonna get down and deep. So, and your clients deserve the best, the combination of the core three. That's what we're all about, right? So, can I just think back? I love you quick? too. I think if 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 we're talking about nutrition, I understand the the desire when we see these people one to two times per week to have that conversation in there. But if we're going to have a real conversation about nutrition, it's going to extend beyond the five minutes that they're warming up. Yeah. So if that's the case, how are we properly monitoring their sets, their rest, yeah. their their tempo, their progression, and proper nutrition? I think the obvious answer is we're not. And I would argue it's a waste of their money, especially when they're paying $100 in that hour, right? So especially when we have these four and eight packs, utilize those, three and ones, seven and ones, 
I when when I was a when I was a trainer when I was a uh, an assistant manager, every single time I sold training, I told them I don't sell training without nutrition coaching because I, I it's God's honest truth. I believe it's a waste of your money because I can't do it in my sessions. <clears throat> when we have eighty percent, we had regrade seventy to ninety percent of the results you're going to see, and it comprises about two percent of our overall business. There's something missing. There's something missing. I don't quite know what it is. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Take the load off of you and let the expert take it. It only makes your clients stay longer. All right. Woo so what we're going to be doing is we're going to every month I'm featuring a nutrition coach. Okay. I'm going to highlight they're giving me the info. 